Mitch McConnell wanted to remind Americans what he really thinks about the issue of gun violence. This is from The Hill. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Tuesday he doesn't believe Congress has much power to stop school shootings. The Lexington Herald Leader reported that McConnell addressed the issue with a group of community leaders in Danville, Kentucky, where he said the federal government can't do much besides appropriate funds. Quote, you would think, given how much it takes to get on an American plane or given how much it takes to get into a courthouse, that this might be something that we could achieve. But I don't think we could do that from Washington. I think it's basically a local decision, McConnell said. It's a darn shame that it's a darn darn shame that's where we are, but this epidemic is something that's got all of our attention, he added. And I know it's got the attention of every school superintendent in the country. Congress has faced increased pressure this year to pass stricter gun laws, particularly in the aftermath of school shootings in Texas, Kentucky, Florida, and elsewhere. So, I mean, a guy like McConnell, apparently it doesn't affect him directly, so he's like, ah, what are we going to do? We're powerless. But, Mitch, that is just factually not true. I mean, there are other countries that have stricter gun laws, and they don't have as many shootings. That's just a fact. Now, you could say, oh, there's a causation correlation problem there, but man, would that be quite a coincidence because it just so happens everywhere where there are stricter gun laws, there are fewer gun deaths. And then the next dodge is, oh my God, but the culture is different and it's the culture. That's such a convenient dodge because what that's saying is there's this amorphous thing that we can't define or describe uh, and we're just going to pawn off the fact that there's all these mass shootings to that thing. And what do you know? We can't do anything about it because that thing is so amorphous and hard to define. It just, it strikes me as an unserious approach to fix this. And it's like, it's almost describing the problem as a non-problem. So in my mind, and you guys know this, I've described myself as a moderate on the issue of guns. Uh, I think that history shows and the evidence we have of other developed country, it, it, it shows that, yes, if you were to ban guns, there would be, you would absolutely destroy the uh, death rate from guns. I mean, it would just plummet. Um, but I'm not in favor of that. I'm not in favor of that because I don't think it's feasible. I think the cat's out of the bag when it comes to guns in the U.S. We have over 300 million guns in circulation, and we also have the, the Second Amendment, which... I don't think the right-wing interpretation of it is correct. I think it's ahistorical and wrong. But at the same time, I don't think uh, an interpretation of it that's reasonable is we, we can ban guns. I don't think you can do that in the U.S. Again, nor do I agree with that. But yes, there has to be some sort of a middle ground which will absolutely cut back on those terrible statistics about how over 32,000 people die every year in the U.S. Um, because of guns. Now, to be fair, that 32,000 number includes homicides, suicides, and accidents, so it's all different kinds of gun deaths. But even if you take just homicides, it's over 12,000. That's not a number you see in Australia. That's not a number you see in other developed countries. So, one thing, for example, that 100% would lower the gun deaths, even if, let's just say, it's only a 5% decrease. You just saved, what, hundreds of people? Thousands of people? I don't know, I suck at math. But you saved a lot of people! And, uh... Universal background checks is a perfect example of a policy that would save lives, and it's, it's something that 93% of Americans want. But Mitch McConnell is like, oh, we, we can't do anything about this. What do you mean you can't do anything? Of course you can do something about this. You could definitely do universal background checks. You could definitely ban high-capacity magazines. You could definitely set up a system where you put roadblocks in the way of crazy people getting guns. Now, I get it. People respond and they say, well, you're never going to stop all the crazy people from getting guns. Yes, that's right. But you are going to disincentivize many of them. Fewer crazy people will get guns if you put more roadblocks in the way of crazy people getting guns. So what are roadblocks? I don't know. Some testing system, some permitting system where you have to, you know, there's a... It, it, treat it more like driving. There, there. That's it. Treat it more like driving. So you have a... Yes, you, can ha you have a right to get a gun, but we're going to have a strict universal background check. And if you, if, if there's certain things, sorry, if you were a violent ex-felon, you're not getting a gun. If you had a severe paranoid schizophrenia, you're not getting a gun. Sorry. And you could scream all you want. Oh my God, that's discriminatory to people with paranoid schizophrenia. Fuck off. Stop. Stop. Uh, I'm tired. Don't let PC outrage get in the way of a common sense approach to this. So, and yes, that's the case when it comes to, um, doing some sort of a, a testing too. 
you're going to have law-abiding citizens who are going to step up and say, hey, man, I have nothing in my past I, I have to worry about or I'm ashamed of or anything like that. And I'm going to go through your process and I'm going to get it just the same way with cars. Plenty of people go through that. And, you know, a, a law-abiding, upstanding citizen, they go, yeah, this is the way it works. This is what we're going to do. It should be the same for guns. But no, instead, Mitch McConnell acts like there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. And we're just going to have to accept the fact that, you know, there's over 12,000 homicides in this country and 32,000 gun deaths. And what are we going to do? You should do something. And by the way, the Democrats should hammer the shit out of them, uh, out of the Republicans over this, because the polls show that it's not just in blue states. There's this misconception that, oh, uh, running on gun control only works in blue states. Not true. We covered a story where they, it was a painfully uh, detailed study where they crunched the numbers and they found that it actually is an issue that even in red states, if you run on basic gun reforms, not banning guns, but universal background checks, some sort of permit system, ban on high capacity magazines, that works even in red districts. So... It's amazing how the Republicans basically get away with advocating the most unpopular ideas and the Democrats don't pounce.